Hello, everyone. Today to teach you to upgrade Mazda 3 Xila. This car's original car screen function is very little. We are ready to upgrade it to the Android system. This is what we look like after the upgrade. The screen has become larger and rich in features. Support wireless CarPlay Android Auto. You can use voice assistant. Make phone calls, listen to music, use online maps, and more. So you want to know how to upgrade? Please follow the video. Ready to start disassembly? Let's talk about the steps first. First open the air outlet, and then remove the original car screen. To begin disassembly, we use plastic tools to pry. Open the air outlet panel. We pry from the right to the left, loosen the inside buckle, and then the air outlet panel can be easily taken out. After taking it out and looking at it, there is only a white plug on the back. We press the button on the plug to pull it out. After removing the air outlet, we can see that the original car screen frame only has one screw fixed. We can remove it on the line. Be careful not to drop the screws when they come out. Then we pull the screen out in front of us with both hands. Also, unplug all the back of it. We hold down the pin on the plug and push it down, then pull it out. After taking it off, we observed that it had five white clasps, and we removed them all. And then we bump it into the plastic base of our new screen. Now we will connect the new screen to the wire. This is the RC wire. This is a USB cable. This is cam video cable. This is the original car USB cable. Connect the communication serial port plug. Connect the canvas box. Connect the radio antenna head. Connect GPS antenna. Connect the camera cable on the new power supply to the cam video input cable. Connect the CD audio output line on the new power supply to the AUX output on the RC line. Connect the black screen power plug. Now we'll attach the back cover and base of the new screen to it. One thing to note is that we need to reserve the plug on the power harness and USB. Now connect the original car radio plug. Connect USB plug of original car. Connect the small white plug of the original car. Connect the power supply plug of the original car. Now that the new screen is ready to be installed, we line the buckle of the base with the corresponding slot. Now let's reconnect the outlet panel plug. Then, align the red clip of the air outlet with the car slot of the base and press it in. It's installed, we can fire it up. Before use, we need to set up the canvas box. We go to settings, factory settings, enter the password, enter canvas settings, select agreement brand, car brand, select the corresponding model here. Remember, setting up cameras requires a connection to Wi-Fi. Once set up, it can support door reminders. 
support the original steering wheel button control. You can use the original car reversing image. You can use Android Radio to automatically search for your favorite channels. You can listen to local music. You can also download other music software. Of course, you can adjust the sound timber and the individual volume of the car horn to your liking. You can use the map to navigate anywhere. When you're not driving, you can watch your favorite movies in the car. You can choose your favorite theme. Bluetooth calls can be made by touching the screen. Well, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching.